So I had two teachers who were extremely impactful, uh, and uh, not just for a short period of time, but for a long period of time in my career. Uh, the first was Gary Fleischer, who was uh, the chief of uh, emergency medicine here at Boston Children's Hospital, and uh, he was a mentor and a teacher to me and guided me uh, and helped shape my uh, career from the very early uh, stages up to the present. Um, I remember uh, when I first uh, met him, uh, I was working at uh, another hospital here in uh, Boston and was basically seeing uh, uh, adult patients and some children in the uh, general emergency department. And I was very interested in working with children and working with children in an emergency setting, but nothing really like that existed. And I went over, came over to uh, Boston Children's to talk to him uh, because it, little did I know, but he would eventually develop the field of pediatric emergency medicine, which is the field that I uh, practice in. And I came over and I basically told him in a very inchoate way kind of the feeling of what I wanted to do and work with children in this kind of setting. And, and he had a little gleam in his eye and he said, I can tell you how to get there. And basically gave me a roadmap of how to develop this career and into this specialty. And uh, he said, you need to do this and this. And then at this point, if you... Uh, you can come and I will train you and teach you here. And that's eventually what happened. And he's been an incredible mentor uh, and teacher in terms of really understanding both what is needed to shape an academic career, but also to really understand the individual person, to understand me and how uh, my needs and what my uh, talents are and where does that all fit together and how he really uh, guided me through critical periods of developing in the specialty. So that is uh, one. The other is um, a man named Barry Brazelton, who I met in 1996 um, when I was invited by his group to give a talk. Uh, and at that point, I was just in the very early stages of developing uh, my whole approach to establishing trusting relationships with children. And I went to speak to his group, and it was really very early. I really hadn't even articulated the principles well. And I remember after the talk, uh, he said, let's sit down. And we came sit down in his office. And he said, basically, he, he didn't say it this way, but what got conveyed to me was, I see the possibility of what you want to do. And then he really told me very clearly, you can do this, and I have great faith in you will be able to develop this. And it was very powerful to hear it from a person of his esteem. He was very famous a pediatrician who developed a whole area in, in neonatology and, you know, and in... Um, in behaving with neonates and how to observe how neonates um, uh, observe neonatal behavior. And uh, it took me 20 years to be able to develop what he had held out as the possibility that I could do. And in 2016, I came back to him and I said, 20 years later, I said, um, here's what I've developed from our last conversation. And uh, after that, we met every month for the next two years, actually, until his death. Uh, and uh, he was incredibly clear in being able to show me what the possibility was of, what I, of the work I was doing and the faith he had in being able to, my being able to accomplish that. And that was enormously uh, valuable to me. Um, he didn't tell me what to do or how to do it. It was just, 
he kind of pointed and said, yes, this is your, this is really wonderful what you're doing, and I can see it could lead to this, and then I would go off and develop it. So, two wonderful teachers, very different, and mentors, very different in their approaches, but very impactful on my life.